Hey people, Mr. Great Shot here. We're going to talk about my Glock 27 today. Here's the intimidation factor. Boom. Alright, first of all, I know this gun's unloaded. However, you don't. And I don't like those comments from you fucking safety sallies. It bugs the shit out of me. And I don't know why, because I don't know you and I surely, sh sure shit shouldn't care. There you go, not loaded. No bullets. Holy cow. Empty magazine. All right. Here we go. I've had this uh, pistol now for uh, three and a half years. Um, I got it primarily. It was one of those deals where I was carrying my Glock 22 and I was working plain clothes details. Uh, and uh, one of my supervisors, uh, happened to say something to me about getting a Glock 27 he got one well what happened was there was a the place where we buy our weapons uh, I had a bunch of uh, not a bunch they had several used Glock 27's come in off a trade deal with a, a uh, agency and uh, they went down there and they were selling them for uh, uh, 275 a piece and uh, so uh, uh, both my supervisors bought one I went down there to get one and they didn't have any more of the used ones uh, you know as soon as word gets out around here uh, every Tom Dick and Harry is uh, at that particular establishment uh, getting those things but regardless here anyways so uh, they do sell. They uh, they only sell uh, uh, Glock handguns. Um, I'm not going to give you the name um, for various reasons, but uh, through a program uh, that is offered from Glock and uh, the United States government, uh, you can buy Glock pistols. Uh, I believe you can buy the 26th, the Glock 26, all the way through to uh, the Glock. Um, well, you can't purchase the 34 or the 35 under this program. So it's any Glock other than those two. And the Glock 18. You can't get the Glock 18. That's for, uh, as an individual, you can't buy that has to be an agency of some sort um but regardless uh they didn't have any more used ones but they sell all the glocks through that program at 398 dollars um standard sites and the night sites cost you a little more um after tax it was 423 and some change so boom that's what i did okay because you can go to any other regular gun civilian gun store or whatever and these things range anywhere from uh, five to six hundred bucks, between five and six hundred bucks. If you're paying more than six hundred bucks, man, you're getting raped. But uh, I'm okay. Let me put it this way: I think you're getting raped. My opinion is you're getting raped. However, this is such a great gun, and it's so reliable and so tough that it's probably, you know. A thousand dollars to defend yourself is pretty cheap. Put it that way. Uh, anyway, so I bought this, and um, I had no experience shooting a uh, a uh, subcompact or a compact gun. Uh, up to, up to that point, uh, you know, I'd only shot uh, full size Glock 22, 1911s, um, things of that nature. Uh, so when I got this, of course, I had before I could carry it, I had to qualify with it, and it took a it took me a little bit to get used to the snappiness because uh, this is you know anybody that owns one of these knows you know you when it, it's kind of snappy, uh, but once I did, it took and uh, I got some shooting video. It's not the best shooting in the world, but it's uh, uh, definitely uh, good enough to defend yourself. So, uh, with that being said, uh, 
I uh, I use uh, this is a DeSantis ankle rig. You know, it's, it's pretty comfortable, really. This is uh, that neoprene and Velcro, and it's got the, the nice soft. I don't even know what that crap is. Anyway, it's really soft, uh, and it stays in place wherever you want it to. The gun fits in there. It's a thumb thumb snap. Okay, just like that. All right, and it it's uh you know works pretty good. All right, the gun stays in there. It doesn't twist all over your ankle or nothing. And then I use the Black Hawk Serpa. There you go. Okay. Uh, when I carry it on my uh, hip, okay, works really good. I like that one. Uh, also, when I carry it on my hip, I use uh, this magazine with the. Uh, I put a uh, I don't know, thumb or pinky extension on there. Uh, you don't really need it um, because I, they they made me qualify with the standard magazine. Um, you don't really need it. You just, you know, it's a technique thing. But uh, I have it on there. It makes me feel better. And since I'm not with that particular agency anymore, I can carry it the way I want to. So, and, you know, that's how it looks. Okay. Uh, incidentally, I got uh, federal 135 grain HST rounds in there now. Uh, I noticed those are a lot less snappy than the 155 grain gold dots and uh, 180 grain gold dots. And they got plenty of energy for self defense. Um, so I'll keep those in there. I don't care what anybody says. Besides that, when you poke a hole in somebody, it doesn't matter. They're going to bleed. Okay? So. Alright, with that being said, I'm extremely happy with the uh, Glock 27 been a very very fine gun for me I haven't had any issues uh, I did notice though even when I was with the other agency uh, uh, some people had trouble with the snappiness uh, they would limp wrist it and the gun would fire and it would eject the round uh, but it would the uh, slide would stay back about like that it wouldn't load another round and it wouldn't it wouldn't catch on the uh, slide stop either it would just be stuck there I uh, well, tried to load another round and it wouldn't do it. I mean, there wasn't enough energy there. Uh, so I noticed that, and it happened with Angel Badshot. Uh, Angel Badshot consistently, she can't shoot this gun. It does not work for her. It's just too snappy of a gun for her. Um, I don't know you guys may have seen it or even experienced it, uh, but uh, you guys that own these know that when you're shooting a 180 grain uh, federal round uh you, you need to hold on to it so all right with that being said that's my glock 27 okay one final look at it it's got the factory sights on it okay nothing special stock trigger haven't done anything to it nothing's been done to that gun uh just a little uh, legal tip legality tip here if you intend on carrying a gun for concealed carry or for duty use do not change anything mechanical on the gun in other words do not lessen the trigger pull uh, do not put in different springs uh, it's a uh, it's a liability issues and lawyers that get paid 350 dollars an hour and are a lot smarter than some people give them credit for will pick you to death if you ever have to uh, use it in self-defense and you know uh, try to say that uh, you built the gun especially to kill people with so just a little legal tip there anyways uh this is uh mr great shot and i'll put the shooting video with it and treat your fellow man the way you want to be treated remember people guys don't go off by themselves later okay.